Hi, my name is Janelle. I'm here with my dad, Gary Talley, awesome musician and teacher, and he's here to speak with us about music and education. All right, this is my dad, Gary Talley. So, can you share with your, your experience in music with us? Uh, yes, I played uh, in various bands, concert bands, jazz bands, small combo, uh, and recently orchestra. Yes, the uh, and enhance, uh, it has an enhanced my learning ability also as well as the student. Um, uh, it helps you study consistently on a consistent basis and it helps you uh, perform at your top level in a good environment. Yes. Alright, so my next question for you, you were saying how it helps student study. So what do you require your students to do in your music program? Well, we require, require the basic elements such as uh, rhythm, melody, and harmony. That's what we require our students to learn. Okay, this, uh, we take it a step-by-step -step process. Uh, first we have the lower, uh, go back to rhythm. The whole note, that's four. It's four beats. The half note, we get half of that. That's your mathematics skills right there. Alright, so that sounds, that sounds like a, like two subjects in one. Right. So they're reading and they're doing their math right. and they're kind of like performing the story. Right. The story. Mm -hmm. Alright, thanks. So how does music affect this? Okay, in the general classroom the student is affected by uh, the environment they listen to. Most teachers in elementary school like to put on Beethoven and Mozart to calm the student uh, body down in the classroom. That element of music, uh, obviously, not the fast Mozart, but the slow one, to calm the uh, student down. It's different effects. Uh, and various, that's one genre of music. That's uh, obviously orchestral music, mm -hmm. with Mozart. But we can also get into Duke Ellington and his sophisticated lady will calm you down also. In various aspects of that. And we have also the later Motown music, uh, My Girl, and things of that in nature there. Music affects society as a whole, and it always will. That's why it's very important to make sure your kids are listening to the right and proper music. Thank you. All right, so a lot of teachers struggle to keep their students engaged and motivated in the classroom. What, do you, what would you suggest a teacher do to help motivate their students using music? Well, the first thing you would have to do is to find out what they like. Okay. And then, after that, within the curriculum standings of this school, you would engage them. Uh, if they're engaged in, let's say, uh, quote unquote, rap that has vulgar language it can't be in my classroom right so uh if they listen to that at their houses either thank you and uh we will try we will try to bring it through the department head and through the public school system that's the way to do it and hopefully this teacher has enough education to bring uh mozart uh different genres of music such as classical uh, early Motown, later Motown, Earth, Wind and Fire, uh, Duke Ellington, uh, G um, God, I even prefer gospel. They, they, <laughs> gospel is nice too. Right, a lot of students connect with that. Uh, that's right in their neighborhood. And we wanted to make sure that they have a great understanding and we can also teach them how to um, uh, really the English repertoire in opera. Alright, so in closing, my dad came to talk to us about the positive effects of music inside the classroom. It motivates and engages the students. And once we have their interest, they are set for the lesson. So I hope you guys enjoyed this interview and can't wait to see you soon.